said it on Prager U, and I say it right here. White privilege is a myth. This video is brought to you by The Officer Tatum Store. The Officer Tatum Store. Get the merch link in the description section. Make sure you like, subscribe to the channel. Hit the bell so you get notifications anytime I go live or make a video. Make sure you share this video, comment on this video, like this video, and let's get into this. Now, I'm going to be calm on this video because I want you to understand where I'm coming from and I want you to understand the truth about the matter. I made a video on PragerU about white privilege. I believe white privilege is a myth. The way that they are presented in colleges and universities, the way that they are uh, saying or, or, or stating that every single white person that's born have this same level of privilege that gives them an advantage over every black person that's born, it's BS. It's a fallacy. It's rooted in hatred, deception, and division. Last time I checked, last time that I, I, I used my brain to think, you're born the same way. You got the same blood in you. And if you live in the United States of America, the Constitution protects you and your rights just like anybody else. And when you want to talk about privileges, white people still have to get up every day and go to work. And if they don't work, they don't eat. And, and, and if you work hard enough, you'll be successful. If you don't work hard enough, you, you're called poor. You're going to end up being poor if you don't do anything about it. If you sit around and complain, you're going to be poor. Have you ever heard of trailer parks? Have you ever heard of poor white people? It, it, they don't just somehow get grandfathered in to, to success in society just because of the color of their skin. Poverty don't care about the color of your skin. Your stomach don't care about the color of your skin. You bet to go out, work on a job, create something if you plan to be successful. And none of that has anything to do with the color of your skin. And I always tell the story about my friend Dustin and Derek. It's a perfect example. Dustin and Derek were super poor. They didn't have no daddy. I had my daddy. Me and my brother, my mama used to Give them our hand-me-down clothes. Because they had no clothes to wear. Holes in their shoes. What, what happened to their white privilege? We were, way, we, we, we were way more advanced financially than they were. But I thought that because of their white privilege, they're supposed to be better than us. And they, they should have life easier than us. It's BS. And, and everybody that's watching this, that ha, that, that's reasonable, whether you're white or black, you understand this to be true. You have to go to school and you got to study just like anybody else. White people have to apply for college just like other people do. And if your parents don't have the money, a lot of times you have to apply for student loans and you're in student loan debt. You don't get a pass. You don't get your student loan debt forgiven just because you're white. So, so where is the privilege? If you want to talk about privilege, you want to talk about privileges to college, a lot of African-American people who may not, their parents may not have done what they should have done, or they may not be rich, they may not have the money, but a lot of these people have the ability to go to college because of athletics. My mom and daddy didn't have to spend a dime out of their pocket for me to go to college. I had a full scholarship. Not only did I have a full scholarship to go to every any college in the United States of America, I was an all-American football player. So did my brother. And so did two or three of my cousins. Because we were gifted, which is a privilege that a lot of black people have, because we are gifted athletically, no fault or doing of our own. We, we have opportunities to go to college that a lot of white people don't have. And I'm just keeping it 100. And black people can be racist openly. And I'm not saying it's a good privilege, but black people can say whatever they want to say about white people. Black people can be openly racist and nobody say anything. If a black person were to get on television and berate a white person because of the color of their skin, they will still be on whatever television show that they're on. White people don't have that privilege. You accidentally say something that people take the wrong way and then you done lost your job and everything. Let me give you another example. As a police officer, 
when I was on the Tucson Police Department, I expressed my frustration and, 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 and vitriol against Black Lives Matter. Not one white officer would dare post about Black Lives Matter on their page. Although we agree 100%. Do you know why, ladies and gentlemen? Because as a black man, I can say all that I wanted to say. As a white person, they're considered a racist and they'll be fired for saying the exact same thing I said. I was, I, 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 I destroyed Colin Kaepernick in a video that got 70 million views. Every other white person on my job felt the same way I did. Why did they make a video about it? Because they couldn't. Because of their white privilege prevented them from making that video. Come on, man. Let's keep it 100. And, and, and I'm going to talk to the Christians real quick. If you are a Christian, there's no way. There's no way that you can live with the sentiment or believe in white privilege. And I tell people, I don't believe in white privilege. I believe in Christ privilege. Because the last time I checked, your steps are ordered by God. Seek ye first the kingdom of God and these things will be added unto you. It didn't say seek your white privilege and these things will be added unto you. It didn't say, the Bible does not say that. Last time I checked, God don't differentiate between black people, white people. We're all children of God. And if God chooses to bless you, He's going to bless you no matter what your color, the color of your skin is. It's clear as the noonday sun. But the problem is for people that want to believe in white privilege is that one, you have been brainwashed as a white person to be guilty for something you ain't had nothing to do with. And, and, and what it breeds in white people is it breeds racism in white people because subconsciously you think you're better off than every black person in America because you're white. You believe that you have more opportunities. You believe that they are less than, that the criminal justice system is against them, that black people are beneath you. When, when to me, that's, that's perpetuating racism. And if you are African-American, black, whatever you want to call yourself, I call you an American of African descent, you have been brainwashed into believing that every white person is better than you. And then no matter what you do, the white person that's in your class to, with you, it will be, will, will be better than you if you don't work twice as hard as they do. That they somehow have a privilege that you don't have. That breeds division and racism, ladies and gentlemen. But somehow, we've diverted our minds away from reality. White privilege is, is, a, is a exacerbated, idea that's rooted in falsehoods do white some white people prefer white people over others yeah so do black people so do hispanic people oh, and, and, and and they say this all the time in, in college when i did africana studies they say black people can't be racist which is the dumbest thing in the world but the reason that they say that is because black people don't have are not in a position of power so you tell me Riddle me this, Batman. In Baltimore, Maryland, when you have the police chief, you have a prosecuting attorney, you have a, a mayor, you have all of these people that are in positions of power who are black, and black people can't be racist in that city, I guess. Huh? When the president of the United States of America is a black man, the highest level of power in the United States of America, oh, black people still can't be racist, huh? Come on, man. Come on. Racist is a racist is a racist. White people can be racist and some of them are. Black people can be racist and some of them are. When I was growing up, we were incredibly racist against white people. Incredibly racist. And, 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 and it wasn't my mama and daddy, but there were people in my family and you can give them an excuse if you want to. There's people in my family that used to call white people racial slurs all the time. It was a sentiment. You couldn't bring white, no white girl home. What? That was a sentiment. You will be bullied from your peers, from, from some people in your family. If you brought a white girl home, it was frowned upon to be congruent to white people. When you would do well in school and be articulate, what do they say? Oh, you're trying to be white as if that's a bad thing. 
Is that not racist? Oh, yes, it is. Yes, it is. You can't trust white people. You can't trust the white man. White people are bringing you down. You got to do twice as much as white people. Why? Why would you have to do twice as much as white people, I would ask? Because white people see you differently. And they want to bring you down. That is a lie from the pit of hell. That is, that is a person making a prejudgment about white people without even meeting them. Without even knowing individual people and the content of their character, you're just creating this facade. And then, it, then you get mad if the white people do it to you. You wear a hoodie and look like a thug and somebody prejudge you. And you turn around and do the same thing for white people because the white person is successful or something of that nature. You feel like they had to oppress black people to get to where they're going. Come on, man. Come on. We got to get out of this. We got to get out of this false mentality of believing that one class of people is better than the other class of people is better than the other class of people. It's a fraud, ladies and gentlemen. It's falsehoods. They only do this to, to, to pitch you against the next man. That's all they do. And they let black people run rampant with racism in America, unchecked, so that it can create hatred of white people against black people. Because I ain't going to lie, if I was white, I'd be sick of black folks at this point. Not all of them, but a lot of them. Every day you get on the TV, Don Lemon says, oh, white men are the most ter white White people are terrorists in America? When black people commit half of the murders in this country? A majority is against other blacks, but when you look at the statistics about black violence against whites versus white against black, black people commit violence twice as much against whites than whites against blacks. Black people have killed more other more black people than all of Ku Klux Klan put together. Black on black murder has killed more black people than the Klan. But they, oh, they don't want to talk about that. We, we, need to, we need to leave that for another subject. No, let's keep it 100. Let's keep it real. And I can go all day about this. People, you got to wake up. We got to wake up. We got to wake other people up. Don't let nobody lie to you about no white privilege, man. Every white person is born with a privilege that's greater than black people. I bet you LeBron James' kid had more privilege than probably 90% of white people in America. Right now, if you go to a cafe and Michael Jordan walked in, LeBron James walked in, Tyler Perry walked in, Oprah Winfrey walked in, Barack Obama walked in. I mean, I could go down a list. Any one of these high-powered billionaire celebrities, they'll make a white man get up out of his seat. How much you want to bet? People, people nearly see LeBron James and want to kiss his toenails. And somehow white people have more privilege. Yet white people are, are watching a sport that pays black people millions of dollars just to shoot a basketball through a hoop. Most of the fans are white, mind you. Most of the people that own LeBron James jersey that makes him filthy rich are white people. Most of the people that support Colin Kaepernick and watch him on television when he was playing football. Most people that are wearing Nikes. Guess what? White people. And I don't want to hear nothing from y'all. And I, I'm done. I'm done. I, 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 could, I could go for two hours about this. White right? privilege is a myth. And if any one of y'all disagree with me and you want to debate me, I, 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 we can do it on Instagram any day, any time. The link is in the description section. You can hit me on my website. Go to booking. Book me to debate you on this subject. I will debate anybody that white privilege is BS. And I dare you to try to debate a black man on it because you know you could try to say white people don't understand. Well, you, you got a brother that will debate anybody on the merits of white privilege. I love you guys, y'all know what it is. Make sure you check out the store, subscribe to the channel. You know the drill, I'm out.